Morgan, just extending a very warm West Coast welcome to everybody. Welcome to the Sunshine Coast and welcome to dear friends and family. And we know, they know, Nick and Morgan know that people have traveled from many places to be here and they are so very grateful to have you all here to share in this very special day, the celebration of their love. By way of introduction, we all know that marriage is a relationship based on love. We know that. And respect. And a determination by both of these partners to adjust to one another, support one another, <coughs> in health and sickness, joy and sadness, ease and in hardship. But as we all know, to make a relationship work takes a little bit more than that. It takes trust. Trust to know in your hearts that you only want the best for one another. It takes dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow, even when it's difficult to do so. 
and it takes faith. Faith to go forward together, not even knowing what the future holds. So, yes, love is a very steadfast state of being. These other qualities, they're just, just not as easy to come by. And they're certainly not a destination. You don't reach it one day and it's going to be happiness from there out. Without any bumps, that's why you have trust, dedication, and faith. Because it is not a destination, it's a journey. And you're embarking on a new chapter in this journey. And I'm now just going to ask Scarlett, Scarlett Osborne, to come forward. If she has some wonderful words she's going to share with all of you on behalf of that right here. <laughs> Like this? Yeah. 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 Perfect. <laughs> I got to choose this. That was terrifying. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a lovely love story by Edward Monckton. The strong dinosaur was trapped inside his cage of ice. Although it was cold, he was happy there. It was, after all, his cage. Then along came the lovely other dinosaur. The lovely other dinosaur melted the dinosaur's cage with kind words and loving thoughts. I like this dinosaur, the lovely, thought the lovely other dinosaur. Although he is strong, he's also tender and he is funny. He's also quite clever, but I won't tell him this for now. <laughs> <laughs> I like this lovely other dinosaur, thought the dinosaur. She is beautiful and she is different and she smells so nice. She is also a free spirit, which is a quality I much admire in a dinosaur. But he can be so meticulous and peculiar peculiar at times, thought the lovely other dinosaur. He's also overly fond of things. Are all dinosaurs so overly fond of things? But her mood skips from here to there so quickly, thought the dinosaur. She's also uncommonly keen on sunbathing. <laughs> Are all other lovely other dinosaurs so uncommonly keen on this? I will forgive his peculiarity and his concern for things, thought the lovely other dinosaur. For they are part of what makes him a richly charactered individual. I will forgive her skipping moods and her fondness for the sun, thought the dinosaur, for she fills our life with beautiful thoughts and wonderful surprises. Besides, I'm not unkeen on sunbathing either. Now, the dinosaur and the lovely other dinosaur are old. Look at them. Together they stand on the hill telling each other stories and feeling the warmth of the sun on their backs. And that, my friend, is how it is with love. Let us all be dinosaurs and lovely other dinosaurs together. For the sun is warm and the world is a beautiful place. Well chosen, Scarlett. Eric Blunton's the dinosaur. <laughs> now we have a little work to do. Under the Marriage Act of BC. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just leaving that up. <laughs> You're allowed to leave the before the kiss. So I require of you both in the presence of all of these witnesses that if either of you were to know of any lawful impediment that you would state the same. Just please repeat after me. I solemnly declare. I solemnly declare. No. I do not know. No, I do not know. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Nicholas Ross Farah. Why I, Nicholas Ross Farah. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Morgan Elizabeth Ann Moore. To Morgan Elizabeth Ann Moore. <laughs> I solemnly declare that I do not know of any lawful impediment that I, or any of us, and more may not be joined in matrimony to Nicholas Foster. <laughs> now the bows.
Turn the other mic. <laughs> As your lifelong confidant and partner, I promise to be the best husband, father and friend I can possibly be. And as your companion and soulmate, I promise to be the best wife, mother, and friend that I can be. I promise to try and keep making you laugh. And I will endeavor to laugh at your jokes even after the hundredth time of hearing you. <laughs> <laughs> Two fish in a tank. <laughs> <laughs> I promise we will keep traveling and seeing new places around the world. And I promise to ask for directions if we get lost. <laughs> I promise to be less stubborn. <laughs> yes, I will. Yes, I will. I promise to try and not be too bossy. Okay. <laughs> I promise we will continue to have fun in our free time. And I promise we will also have fun in our free time, unless Bright and are playing on TV. <laughs> As your lawful wed wife, I will continue to support you in all that we do together, through the thick and the thin, and to love you unconditionally. As your lawful wedded husband, I will be your friend to laugh with, wall to lean on, and shoulder to cry on. I will love you with all my heart, as long as our days go on. And I promise to love you with all of my heart, as long as our days go on. Let's hear it again. Come on, they worked hard. Yeah! And now the rings. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, you're, you lost them in the grass. So, <laughs> so obviously now Nick and Morgan will exchange rings, and we know that rings are an outward and visible sign of the vows, the words they've spoken to one another just now. It's, if you like, a, a seal of those vows that uh, the two of you have made to one another. And so with that... Nice. Oh. Yeah, left hand. Yeah, yeah. as much as you, Nick, and Morgan, you've consented in formalizing your relationship today in marriage, and you've declared your solemn intentions in this company and in my presence, and you've exchanged rings as the pledge of your vows to one another. So now, upon the authority vested in me by the province of British Columbia, I pronounce you husband and wife! Yeah! Share all 
the love and laughter that a lifetime time will allow. I cross my heart and promise to give you all, give all I've got to give to make all your dreams come true. Oh 